We have to do the reverse countdown. It's a list thing. Okay, okay pretend we didn't say that. Yeah, okay. Three most memorable Bare Naked Ladies songs. Number three. Old Apartment? Old Apartment, number three. That's a song that was straight, it's a straight ahead rock song with some emotional lyrics. And on the first playback, I kind of knew that it was going to be a hit. So after, while, while we were listening to the play, playback, I was looking over through the big industrial windows at the city of Toronto going. <laughs> Coming in at number two. It's been one week since you looked at me. One week. One week. One week, which is our only number one Billboard single, is a song that I improvised uh, into a, a video camera um, because we wanted something on the record that was indicative of the live show of the band, which includes a lot of improv. So I just improvised the song. And when our a and person at the time, Sue Drew, told us that was going to be the lead-off single, I actually thought she was making fun of me. I thought she was joking. Number one. Coming in at number one. You didn't see this coming. If I had a million dollars. If I had one million dollars. I wrote that song on a yellow school bus on the way back from a kid's camp to entertain the kids. We've played that song every show we've ever done since 1988. We toured across the country with uh, Alan Doyle and the beautiful Gypsies opening up. And every night they came out and joined us on yeah. stage at the end of the show. Two full bands and we, we ended the show by playing If I Had a Million Dollars together. At the start of the tour I asked Alan if he'd be interested in doing it and he said, I've been playing, if I had a million dollars, about two weeks less than you have. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to feel amazing, probably emotional. We have fans that have been along for the whole ride. We also have fans that have just kind of found us in the last couple of years and on the last couple of records. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity for everyone to, to see the whole story. That, this is a 30-year history, you know, we worked with Steve for 20 years, we worked with Andy for five years in the beginning, um, and for the last 10 years and six records, we've been a, a four-piece, and um, it, it's a great opportunity to, to look at the whole story and celebrate it all. It's a feel-good story. Two thumbs up. Buy you a green dress, but not a real green dress, that's crew.